in this section uh, we'll be discussing the reverse transcription process reverse transcription we have already talked of the process of transcription and we said it is dna which gets transcribed into mrna and this mrna is not formed in one step it is hnrna which undergoes splicing and all those processes this particular step is the regular transcription process and then mrna translates all that information it has in the form of proteins so this process is translation and we have discussed both these processes in detail this expression of genetic information which is on dna into protein is called central dogma which was given by francis crick this also we have talked of now there are certain organisms in which rna is the genetic material if rna is the genetic material then the information which is stored on rna has to be translated in the form of proteins we need to remember or recall what we have already done what we already discussed is that most organisms have dna as genetic material this is the most common thing some organisms have rna some have rna as genetic material now here we need to re remember or recall the thing that rna in eukaryotes or the mrna trna and rrna that we talk of are the rnas which are actually helping in protein synthesis so m t and r rnas help in protein synthesis this information we already have so we are not talking about the rna as the material which is helping in protein synthesis we are talking about rna as genetic material so rna as genetic material then how does this rna expresses the or how does this rna express the information that it has this is our rna as genetic material if it was just helping in protein synthesis it would have simply helped in the process of translation but because this is the genetic material it first forms a dna on it so from rna a dna is formed this dna then forms mrna and mrna helps in protein synthesis that means this process is the normal process that is central dogma but there is an additional step here dna to mrna was termed as transcription here rna to dna that means we are going backwards this step is known as reverse transcription and there is a special enzyme which is required the name of the enzyme is reverse transcriptase this reverse transcription process is also known as taminism it is also called taminism and the reason why it is known as taminism is because this process was explained by two scientists temin and baltimore so by temin and baltimore and that is why the main scientist who was temin in this case the process has been named as taminism so whichever organism has rna as genetic material we have talked about examples like tmb even hiv has rna as genetic material 
whenever there is RNA as genetic material, they always have this reverse transcriptase enzyme, which is going to help in formation of DNA. And then the regular central dogma, that is DNA to mRNA and mRNA to protein. Now, how exactly this works, let us understand it by a simple diagrammatic expression. So, let us say that this is the virus and this virus has RNA as the genetic material. So, this is the RNA strand and as we said, whichever organism has RNA as genetic material, which are invariably the viruses, they always have an enzyme. So this strand which we have drawn is actually RNA, that is the genetic material and this circular structure which we are drawing is our reverse transcriptase enzyme. So these two things, if this virus affects a host cell, this is the host cell which the virus is infecting. So this becomes our host cell. And we also know that the viruses which have RNA as genetic material, they are known as retroviruses. So this is actually a retrovirus. Retroviruses have RNA as genetic material. Now how does this actually infected, how the host cell is infected and what inside the host is going to happen? When the virus attaches on the host cell, it is known as adsorption or attachment. It is going to attach here and it is going to inject its RNA into the host cell. This host cell has its own DNA as genetic material. We want to see how this RNA is going to work. This RNA and just to trace what is happening, we are labeling all these things. This RNA now is going to produce the DNA molecule. So on this, a DNA is produced. So this black line which we have drawn is representing DNA and the red one is RNA. So there is a stage where there is a, an RNA-DNA hybrid. So this structure is also called RNA DNA hybrid and then after that these two strands will separate this DNA is going to help in formation of mRNA this is the regular process now how was this formed this step here that means from RNA to DNA formation is actually the reverse transcription and then the regular process. This DNA has separated. It is helping in the formation of mRNA. This process is transcription. Then this mRNA will help in protein synthesis. So this is mRNA and this process will be called translation. Now the proteins which are synthesized, obviously those are the proteins which the virus requires or those are the virus proteins because the information has come from the viral genetic material. Let us have a quick recap of this and then we'll see what happens after this. The virus, RNA containing virus or the virus in which RNA is the genetic material then infects a host cell it injects its RNA into the host. This RNA undergoes reverse transcription with the help of the enzyme to form a DNA molecule. This DNA now synthesizes mRNA by the regular process that is transcription and this mRNA then helps in formation of this protein by the process of translation. The protein which is synthesized as we said is the viral protein and in this virus there are only three things. There is a protein capsid, RNA as genetic material and an enzyme and enzymes are also proteins. So this protein 
would help in formation of the capsule and the enzyme. And after that, an RNA is going to form RNA again. So there would be many RNAs also. And then assembly will take place. That means this proteins will make the capsule and this RNA and the reverse transcriptase. That means the virus is formed inside the host cell. Many such viruses will be synthesized. Many such viruses are formed with RNA as the genetic material and reverse transcriptase. And then the host cell will rupture. Once the host cell ruptures, all these RNAs are going to be released. So they have synthesized their own proteins, own enzymes and RNA in the host cell using their RNA as genetic material by adding one extra step that is reverse transcription. So this is how these retroviruses, they multiply in the host cells. And this entire process was given by Temin and Baltimore and that is why reverse transcription is also known as Temin.